the newest ballpark on the Major League landscape. There's a look inside Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the New York Mets and the Miami Marlins. Which of these two will prevail next on the show? Dan Straley will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, H? Well, for right now, he's just allowing over a base runner per inning. That's very good for a starting pitcher. It tells me that he keeps his team in the game every inning. And really, if you win the innings, you're going to win the game in the end. First pitch forthcoming as Jose Reyes is set to go. Leading off tonight for the Mets, second baseman, number seven. Sends that one out of play for strike one. This Marlins ball club, Harold Reynolds, as they begin play here tonight. They're coming off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Matt, they're on one of those hot streaks. I mean, everything is going right for them. They're playing great baseball right now. I mean, timely hitting, the bullpen's coming through, and it looks like they're rested. They're doing the things they need to do to really be a winning club right now. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will not. Just slicing foul at the very last moment. So close to extra bases. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Got to love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven pitches now. And if this is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. That was the fourth foul ball in this at bat. He is really making him work. The next three two. Sent on the ground out to second. Gordon is there. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes and that's how we get things started. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who stands out to you Danny. I'll tell you this team could really use a turnaround from Cespedes. He had only two home runs last month which is uh, not good for a guy that hits in the middle of the order. They're going to need a lot more production a lot more power from him moving forward. They expect it and so do I. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson batter pitcher numbers against Dan Straley just a one for nine. He's taken him deep once. Into the windup and the pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Well, Matt, Woody used the call as a pretty nice game back there, although consistency has been an issue brought up with him in the past. We'll see if it comes into play. Got him out on his front foot there as it swung on and missed for strike one. That looked like he was cheating for that fastball inside right there. Early swing, got out in front of that off-speed pitch, clearly looking for a fastball. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Just starting things out here in South Florida. Swing and a looper to left. Ben Decker is after it. Two gone. Batting third, the left fielder number 52. Yoenis Digging in, Yoenis Cespedes, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. First delivery to him on the way. And this is going to be a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. 
hit the other way out toward right field. And Stanton will put this one away, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. It's the Mets nothing. Marlins coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Noah Syndergaard gets the ball for the Mets in this one. What do we need to know here, HR? You know, I'm excited to watch this guy pitch. He's got over 200 strikeouts on the season. With that comes a lot of innings. He's very durable, almost like a throwback type of guy. So watching him execute his game plan is very fun to me, and I hope he's on top of his game today so you can see the best of him Leading as well. Second baseman, D. Gordon. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. They played good ball yesterday and pulled off a W. Let's see if they're able to keep that momentum going and play good again this one and win another game. On the ground to the left side. Backhanded. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Well, that's playing within his game right there. The speedster gets a little infield single, and now he's on to do damage. In is Christian Yelich, and this one gets away. And costly as the runner will move into scoring position now. And I think that's the case of the pitcher being a little too preoccupied with the speed at first. He lost focus on making the pitch and throws an absolute scud. The irony, of course, is the runner's now on second, and he didn't even have to steal. Ready with the 1 0. This ball sliced the opposite way, but it'll get into the seats deep in left and foul. Here it comes on one and one. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. A runner at second, nobody out. Softly to the right side, should get the runner to third. Right there is Reyes, and a good throw gets him one gone. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, I'm going to be watching for the speedster, D. Gordon. He's got 60 stolen bases on the year, and you know, he's one of the most exciting athletes to watch in the game today. Anyone that can swipe bases like he can is a guy you can't take your eye off of. So coming to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. Starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A swing and a miss at a ball down. This is where getting ahead in the count really pays off for you. Now you can get him to chase a pitch, maybe get a ground ball, double play, or a strikeout. Either way, it's going to help your cause. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Fouled back.
Here's another 0 2. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Well, their chances of pushing across the run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Digging in, Mark Trumbo. He's hoping to break out of the slump he's been stuck in. He's set. Here it comes. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. A now 2-0 with a great hitter up, a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have to pitch very careful. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. 3-0 and oh now. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation. And now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. He's set. Here's the 3 0. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. And with the bases empty, you don't feel that bad about bad. walking that guy. Patrick. He's capable of taking Jay deep every time he digs in. So it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Stepping in, JT Real Muto. And there you see the numbers over his last eight contests. He's really been leading the charge for this team. First pitch on its way. A knee-high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Two hits in seven tries. Runners on first and third, two away. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. 0 2 pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command, 1 and 2. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes to two balls and two strikes now. Here's the pitch on two and two slider whiffed on for strike three a great pitch to put an end to the inning. Nothing in the Miami first we played an inning in South Florida no score on the show. Riding into the box, Lucas Duda, and the home First away baseman, splits tell us he's actually quite a Lucas bit better hitting on the Duda. road than he is at home. Into the windup and the pitch. A fastball oh. down near the shoe oh. tops. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Looked like he was sitting on the hard stuff right there. Stayed right on it, Got stayed it. with it. Hard line Short drive. Stuff. Great game and play. Verbal. Cabrera.
Here now is his dribble Cabrera. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. He is there, and he's out trying to take second. Well, he tried to turn a single into a double by stealing second on the first pitch, but they were ready for it. Good catch and throw from behind the plate, and it's like that base hit never happened. A one count. Here's the pitch. And there's ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2 and 1. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Settling in now, Martin Prado. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. Now the pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. He threw that ball right by him. When you got a guy throwing that hard, you got to really just think about using your hands and just spread out and let your hands fly. They're going to be quicker than your bat is going to get to the ball. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. I like the pitch. It just missed. That's a sweeping slider. That thing is nasty. Try to get him to chase it. I might even come back with it again. Ready to deliver the one and two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Again, he sends it out of play. He'll try again one two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Seems like he's thrown everything at him the kitchen sink and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Now a flare out toward right center coming in is Ligaris but he won't get there it falls in. Well, he's been inconsistent at the plate. The expectations were higher. He's fallen under 240, so that is a welcome single right there. Jen Decker. Into the box now, Matt Dendecker. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Ligares is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Now in the box, Miguel Rojas. 
And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. In now, Dan Straley. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Soft liner to the left side. Pro goes to Reyes for the force, and that'll end the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. So striding in, Juan Lagares. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And this one runs a little too far two in. Ball one two. Strike. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. 2 and 2. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Rene Rivera will be next. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Into the box, Rene Rivera. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The 1 0 delivery. And this is fouled back and out of play. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on a nice biting slider. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Third inning, no score to this point. Oh, look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Batting ninth, Petra. Noah Cindergaard. Coming to the plate now, Noah Cindergaard. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Oh. 
Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. That was a first pitch fastball. He just blew it right by him. You talk about an overpowering fastball working today. He's got a good one going. Pitch on the way. Missed Whoa. low and inside with it. One and one. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Oh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two. After that swing you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that last pitch. Now here's the pitch. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Here's D. Gordon now. He'll start things out against on, Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. D. Gordon. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch fly ball out toward left center field after it is Cespedes one down. So with one away we'll give you a look at the current standings and you can see they lead the division by the narrowest of margins just a half game. Digging in for his second at bat Christian Yelich. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. Hit down the third baseline. And this is going to get by right down the line. It's a fair ball. So a one out base hit has him aboard here in the third, and that seems as good a time as any to oh, check right out fielder, our league leaderboard in hits. Jim and as you Carlos see there, he sits in fourth place in that department in the National League. Striding in once again, Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter. But making contact on that pitch could be very tough. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Line towards center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. The batter, first baseman, Mark, Mark Trumbo. Here's Mark Trumbo now. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. And that That's misses ball. ball one. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get into chase right there, making him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away, but he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. One and zero pitch on the way. Two and zero. Clearly, they're not trying to give him anything to hit, are they? I mean, everything's away, but he's sitting two zero. Let's see if he extends and maybe looks outside to drive something. Three and oh well he's clearly not getting anything to hit right here but I'm telling you what three and oh I trust him so much I'm giving him the green light. 
Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he'll just make him throw one over here, three and one. I really like what he did right there. Two and oh, he wasn't able to hit the spot he was shooting for. Three oh, he made a better pitch, and now he sits three one. Let's see what he does here. Set. Here's the 3 1. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. A runner on first with two away. Now a ball hit pretty well to left but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And a sinker called strike three as he's rung up and the side is retired. Marlins leave one. We'll head to the fourth still scoreless. Ready for another chance. Jose Reyes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Jose Reyes. And he'll start Outside. the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. No contact there, and it's one and two. Beautiful changeup. Got him out front with that swing right there. That's what a changeup will do just keep you off balance. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Well, as a leadoff man, the team looks for you to get on base any way you can. This isn't the preferred route, at least for him, but hey, they'll take it. In is Curtis Granderson as he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters and it's strike one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 0 and 1 delivery off the plate one ball one strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Bullet back up the middle. So this is pulled in by the shortstop, and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The left fielder, number 52. Yoenis. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Yoenis Cespedes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way and a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. And a good call as they pitch out there but Reyes isn't going yet. Down low and the plot thickens here three and oh. Looking to fade his first walk here it comes. Cespedes takes ball four there and he'll head down to first. Well they've struggled offensively in this one so far but after that walk 21. they've got runners at first and Lucas. second and look Duda. ready to make a little noise just need a big hit now. Digging in to try it again Lucas Duda he reached on a single in his first try.
First pitch coming. Here it is. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. A lot of times you'll see the take sign after five straight balls to start the inning, but with the middle of the order up at the plate here, I wouldn't be surprised if he's turned loose. Just has to be the right pitch to hack at. And that's high and away, and the count goes to 2 and 0. Oh. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Here comes the 2 0 -oh pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. He really was struggling. He needed that strike right there. It's been a while since he thrown one. That's just not the way he wanted to start this inning. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. Now at the plate, as Dribble Cabrera looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. And Trumbo will put this one away to retire the side. Wow, talk about frustrating. Not what you want to do with the bases loaded. A simple pop-up and nothing productive comes out of that. Here's the third baseman David Wright as the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And this is fouled back and out of play. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Here's the one and two delivery. And a fastball just a bit up. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Three, two with the bases loaded. Hit on the ground to third. On to first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. At the plate, JT Real Muto. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Number 11. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike.
50th pitch of the game on its way. Hit to third. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Well, that base hit right there is his 12th game. He's got a base hit now in a row. You start thinking about it, everybody around the country is paying a little more attention to him. This is where the pressure starts to mount. Let's see how long he can carry this streak. Stepping into the box, Martin Prado. He singled his last time up. And that oh. misses inside 1 and 0. Oh. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box. No doubt about it. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Ligares is under it. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Into the box, Matt Dendecker flied out in his first at bat, so Matt make him 0 Decker. for 1 so far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. He's having a really good game. He's over 70% first pitch strike. When you get that first pitch strike, now it opens up the whole strike zone, and that's why a pitcher can dominate, and he's doing that in this game. Runner at first here, one man out. And he takes strike two. Well, it's awful difficult, Matt, to hit when you find yourself down 0-2, but particularly when you haven't even swung the bat yet. Now you're in protect mode, and you haven't taken one swing. And this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up three bases. The one two pitch. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah that was really well executed Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in then it starts bearing in on your back leg and unless you hit it out front there's nothing much you can do with that. Standing in now, Miguel Rojas. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Ball chop foul here at the plate, and he's behind nothing and two. The 0 2 home bounced softly in front of the plate. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One left for Miami. Through four, still tied. Nothing, nothing. Digging in now, Juan Lagares. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Juan Lagares. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Here it comes on one and one. 
Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Well, he's pitching really good in this game, and the fastball location has been the key. That pitch right there is indicative of the game. Down low, hits a spot. That's what he's been doing with the fastball basically the whole game. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Stepping up now, Rene Rivera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First offering on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. The wind up and the 0 1. The high fastball is in there. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. One out, nobody on. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. Ball two. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. And oh, boy, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A-B. Down 0-2, and you work the walk, but if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook, and that can really frustrate you. Now to the plate, Noah Sindergaard. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. What I'm looking for on that right there, he pulls the bunt back, but now you know he's bunting. You tried to make him chase a pitch. Now I come back and throw him a strike and make him get it down. They give you out, take the out. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Now batting. Second baseman. Jose Reyes. Ready for another shot now. Jose Reyes. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a neck high fastball that time. One and no pitch on the way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Outside two and one. Oh he wanted that one but it misses for ball three. Curtis Granderson would be next. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit out towards second. Toward second, Gordon is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So put another zero on the board as they've been held scoreless through five. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. In now, Dan Straley. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Dan Straley.
first pitch of the at bat. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Matt, here we are in the fifth inning, and he swings at a ball out of the zone. It's indicative of how they're playing right now. He's taking advantage of their aggressiveness, and that's why there's a shutout going. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Boy, he's not picking them up at all. Two swings and two swings and misses right now. You're not feeling confident at all if you're in the batter's box. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Here's the one and two delivery. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. You know, this is the kind of location you can get away with when you throw your fastball like that. That's certainly not where he wanted it to end up. But when it's coming in that hot, it's tough for guys to put it in play, especially when they're protecting with two strikes. Here's D. Gordon now. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. One for two in the ball game thus far. Now the 0 1. Now a bunt attempt here, but this will get foul for strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he misses there one and two. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. A inside. fastball that just misses inside. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Two and two count. Here it comes. Sinker. Three and two now. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. One out, nobody on. Liner towards second, but this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Now batting. Center fielder, Christian Yelich. In is Christian Yelich. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch on its way. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. He's 0 for, for 2 match. thus far in this center one. A couple three. of righties starting to Curtis loosen now Granderson. in the bullpen. First pitch of the at bat. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Boy, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. And a slider stays outside and he falls behind 2 0. The 2 0 on the way. The high fastball is in there. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. Here's a check swing and a foul ball. Come on now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And another foul ball. Oh. 
set to deal on two and two. Back up the middle. And that is going to get on through. It's a leadoff single for Granderson. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. Well, that's a slider breaking in right there. And if it's not in on your hands, that's a dangerous pitch. He got lucky that ball didn't go further. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Yoenis Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And Granderson runs. Here's Cespedes with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse. A home run. It's a two-run shot here for Yoannis Cespedes. Number 25 for him on the year as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Now the Marlin skipper's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And the change is in the offing. That's going to be all for Dan Straley. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. A.J. Cole please. takes over on the now mound here with nobody Warriors. out in the sixth inning. A.J. First baseman number Here's 21. Lucas Duda now. Lucas Duda. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball oh. one. Base is empty here with nobody out. Called strike on the inside and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. We are watching him reach back and just challenge it with the fastball. Now we got a one two count and that's three fastballs in a row. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. The shortstop, number 13, has Drupal Cabrera. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Starts strong. him out with a changeup for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Matt, I like the last two pitches. A changeup and then a fastball. And he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now, and that's an advantage to the pitcher. And the changeup is way low that time. This is pulled into right. Stanton back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Into the box now, David Wright. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one.
the windup and the 1 0 pitch runs outside so it goes to 2 0 now. From the windup the 2 0 pitch takes a fastball on the inside corner two out nobody on. Over toward the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Fouled straight back. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. I know one thing. Now, he Patty. earned that free right pass fielder. right there. He was Juan tempted with some Lagares. really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Here's Juan Ligares. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. This one skied out toward right. Stanton has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now 2 0 New York. Giancarlo Stanton now. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. Right fielder. John Carlos Stanton. Yep. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And with the final month winding down here he finds himself in second place in the National League in that department. Riding in once again Mark Trumbo comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Into the windup and the pitch. Down the first baseline. Duda's up with it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. Catcher. JT Real Muto. Digging in and looking for more. JT Real Muto. One for two on his line so far in the game. Foul back. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Outside, Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Hit the target, but this is low, 2 and 1. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. We're really watching a great performance. This is a good hitting team. He's got two outs already in the sixth inning. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit by pitch. Baseman, well, when you hear people talk about the unwritten rules of baseball, I think we just saw a perfect example of that. 
you hit one of mine and I'm going to hit one of yours. Always been that way and probably always will be, even though they've tried to crack down on that kind of stuff recently. Martin Prado is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1 and 0. Oh. He's really showing me something right here, Matt. He hit the last batter and the first pitch right here. Boom! Fastball on the inside half coming right at him again. He's not fearful of anything. Two out with the man at first. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. And that misses two and one. He's set and the two one pitch takes a high fastball for a strike. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way and he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning Marlins leave one they trail things here two to nothing. Welcome back to South Florida getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top but first let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Ready for another chance Rene Rivera will lead it off here as we begin inning number seven Rivera into the windup and the pitch. Line softly out toward left center, and there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. Well, there's a nice little soft liner. I know it's a leadoff base hit. It wasn't hit as hard as he'd like to, but sometimes that little soft liner starts rallies. Noah Cindergaard. Ready for another shot now. Noah Cindergaard. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. The batter number seven, second baseman. Jose Digging in the Reyes. switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch of the at bat. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Runner at second here with one man out. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. The 0 2 home ball swung on and hit high down the line in left but it'll get back in among the crowd so the count holds it 0 and 2. I like that combination right there. Show him the curveball and now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. And the throw forces the first baseman to leave his feet and by the time he came down it's too late. In is Curtis Granderson as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike he's working on a one for three thus far. Come on, let's get the ground ball. Now the 0 1 a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap back goes Stanton and this ball is gone no chance to make a play on that one. 
A three run homer here for Curtis Granderson. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And the Mets have got it up to a 5 nothing game now. Well, they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason, so we waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Yoannis Cespedes will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. Watch me. First pitch on its way. Hit in the air to right field. Stanton has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. First base Here's Lucas 21. Duda now. He singled Lucas earlier, making him Duda. one for two to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Yep. Takes a knee high fastball. Two outs, base is empty, and I got one of my power guys at the plate. This is where you let it fly right here. Give me a home run or a double. Give me some kind of extra base hit here. The wind up and the 0 1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Three runs already home here. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Pitch on the way. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, but the Mets strike for three, for all coming courtesy of this three-run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Mets five, and the Marlins nothing. Now at the plate, Leading Matt the Dendecker. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. Here's the one and one delivery. And a slider's oh. in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. He's got it one away. Now batting. The shortstop. Miguel Rojas. Digging in once again. Miguel Rojas. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And that's in there for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. A fastball that finds the outside corner. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. The next 0 2. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. One out nobody on. 
And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. Pitcher, it's been a pretty dominant 22, performance on the mound. AJ and these hitters have had Cole. no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout play. most of the game like Ranch it has here. Marlins. Marcelo Zuna will get the call to Marcelo. pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. First pitch fastball off the plate there and it's ball one getting on base a big problem as you see the average there six home runs and 23 driven in. And he falls behind now two and oh. Two and oh count and the pitch. Ah. Up and out over the plate, but a cold strike. Two and one. That one pitch strike. looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Tell you what, six and two thirds. He got 100 pitches. He's done a nice job being really economical with his pitches. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Well, they've been Up unable to get Marlins. to this guy, so they'll take Second base runners front. any way they can Jeez. get him. At the very well least, done. you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Here's D. Gordon now. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Hey, it's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys. Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. A runner on first with two away. Liner towards second. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for Miami. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Junichi Tazawa has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Junichi Tazawa. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. As Dribble Cabrera. In there at the knees, strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And he misses with it one and one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And a neck high fastball that time. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Doesn't chase after the splitter, and he works it back to a full count. Waiting in the on-deck circle is David Wright. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Riamuto goes to get it, and the throw is there to record the first out. The third baseman, Here's the five. third baseman, David, David Wright. Wright. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. Go, Marlins, From the stretch. 
There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Yelich going back at the track. The wall. Out of here. A solo shot, and they add another. So a solo shot here for David Wright. Number 10 for him on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Now batting. Right fielder. Here's Juan Lagares. Lagares. As he'll take a breaking ball, ball then off the plate for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 delivery. Split fingered fastball there inside, 2 0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened. And it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's 3 and 1 now. Swing, strike two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3 and 1, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. One out, nobody on. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. In now, Rene Rivera. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's one for two in this one. Here it comes, one and oh. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. The 2 0 on the way. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's popped up. Now towards short right field. Trumbo ranging into the outfield, and that retires the side. The Mets get one on the David Wright home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets six and the Marlins nothing. So stepping in, Christian Yelich. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Into the windup and the pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Popped up towards the seats as this gets out of play. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field.
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. The 1 and 2 pitch. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, 2 and 2. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he struck him out. The tenth victim sat down on strikes thus far. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Giancarlo Stanton now. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Well, he's thrown over 70% first pitch strikes to, to all the hitters in the game right now. That's why he's pitching late in the game. He's getting ahead of guys, and then you can manipulate as you move forward. And oh. that misses one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. This is the time in the game you start thinking, hey, they might get better swings. Then you see a swing like that. Boy, he's still got it working. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. Looking to send him packing again. Here's a high pop-up. Calling for it is Reyes. And he's got it for out number two. Up next for the Marlins, first baseman. Here's Mark Trumbo now. His dominance continues on the mound, but it seems like he might be running on adrenaline only at this point. Yeah, he's been so great in this one. You want to see him finish what he started, but you also have to start worrying about things like injuries. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, and some guys are just more capable of that than others. But not a lot of good things tend to happen when you've worked as hard as he has in this one. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. And when a guy starts leaving the curveball up, that's a sign he's beginning to tire a little bit out there. He's got to be able to get on top of that pitch, or he's going to start getting hurt. And that misses two and two. Two out, nobody on. Three and two now. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. This is skied out toward right. Ligaris is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They still find themselves down six zip. Ah, the famous neon lights of Ocean Drive in Miami Beach. Welcome back to baseball on the show. Brian Ellington enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Brian Ellington. 
Neil Walker will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit leading things off here. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. The average sitting right at 270 on the year and even 20 home runs and 64 runs batted in. The 1 0 pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. Change up gets him out in front for strike two. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an up to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Stepping in now, Jose Reyes. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 0 and 1 delivery. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 and 2. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. It is Curtis Granderson. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. First pitch of the at-bat. Leaves a change up high for a strike. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. The 0-2 home to the right side, but foul, and he'll try it again. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here he comes again, 1-2. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. High in the air out to center field. Yelich is under it. And that's the third out. Mets go down one two three but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Fernando Salas comes on to start the inning the and he'll have a huge lead Number to work 59, with. Fernando Salas. Digging in to try it again. JT Real Muto. And Dan, Leading what's on, gone wrong for, for this lineup for today? They're only three outs Catcher. away from being shut out. Well, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching. But the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Popped up. Reyes is there for it. Makes the play one away. Third baseman number 14. Martin Prado. Ready once again. Martin Prado in his career against this pitcher have yielded just a two for 12. Looks like a left hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. First pitch on its way. 
And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Oh. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he's a little too high with that Two one. Ball. Two balls and a strike. One out, nobody on. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Matt Dendecker is on deck. The 3 1 pitch. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will as it heads to the corner. A fair ball. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might bend foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good looking swing. Digging in now, Matt Dendecker. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. First offering on its way. And he couldn't hold back that time. They say he went around at strike one. One out and a runner on second base. And he lays off for ball one. That's that controversial pitch right there. It's in the zone, should be called a strike by the book, but it's not a strike in baseball, not in the big leagues anyway. Ready with the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike two. Two and two count, here it comes. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. Runner at second here with one man out. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Ligares is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. So striding forward now, Miguel Rojas. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lays off 1 and 0. Two out here and a runner at second. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure's off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. A 6 nothing shutout to finish off tonight's game. Noah Syndergaard records his 14th winning decision of the season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.